Miss Vila Beck and the rabbi from another planet. Please like, share, and subscribe, and ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop. And I am watching the boys. I'm still watching the boys. I'm on episode three. I'm not a binge watcher. I'm only on episode three. I'm terribly sorry. You know, I, I recommend it to a couple of my normal friends, which is always a sign that it's a good show. And they're loving it. And they, they were, they're ahead of me already. So, yeah, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a slow watcher. But I'm on episode three. And I'm going to give you a little bit of review, a little bit of thought upon it. One of the major threads that's going through the, um, going through the boys is commenting on the Me Too-ness of the current era. Um, and very accurately talking about it, I think, through allegory. But they're doing it very well. They're not, it's not woke. It's not, it's not like... Um, it's not talking down to me, which I really, really appreciate. It's not like accusing me. It's not, a, and you know, it's not. I think it's not accusing masculinity, which I, which is what uh, I think has been the scapegoat for the entertainment industry for their vile abuses that they so readily uh, indulge in. Yeah. So okay. So I'll back up. There's a character. There's a story thread going through a character. A young super young female superhero is plucked out of obscurity and is brought into the big leagues of this high level superhero group, and it's uh, and so she's like she's like a head spin. This is what she's always wanted her entire life. Um, she has her first press conference and she's introduced a fellow superhero shows around their secret lair, and then as she's like as her head's exploding with the excitement. He then, like, uh, um, coerces her to perform a sexual act upon her, uh, upon him, I should say. And he says, listen, yeah, it's okay. It's just how much you want to be in this group. You know, it's going to take you 20 minutes, and then you can get everything you want. And so she agrees to it, and she go, go, goes for it, and she does it, and she hates herself for it. Um, but then as he meets another character who, who, who talks her, uh, who pumps her up again and talk, uh, makes it feel better? And you know the, the, is the, that character was correct. It was, you know, uh, the superhero had a what I would call a moment of weakness, a, a foolish moment of weakness. What she should have done is said, "Look, I know this is what I wanted all my life, but this is wrong, and this right, and this wrong." Uh, and again, we have it to a sec uh, to a lesser level in episode three when she's coerced to uh, change a costume to something that's far more sexualized, and she says, "Listen, I have the right to." Present my body how I want to present it, and and the the woman the the female like um, manager in charge says yes you do you have the absolute right, but it's it's but you don't have to be in the supergroup, you can choose not to be, and she said and so she makes a make uh, makes another compromise, and uh, and you know she she to to a great extent she sexualizes herself more than she's comfortable with, so this clearly is paralleling. A uh, para paralleling. I should say. This is kill, clearly parallel. Par yeah. This is clearly an analogy. That's much better. This is clearly an analogy for what many uh, thousands, maybe tens of now, I would say thousands of young women experience every year going to Hollywood and trying 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 to make it there. They uh, they have a, a, a certain morality which they then have to abandon um, to uh, to to be part of that industry. Um, so the, 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 um, the scapegoat for this, for the, for, for the, for this, this abuse, I will call it abuse. The scapegoat for the, for, for this abuse has been masculinity. It's masculinity gone mad. That's, that's you causing this abuse. And it's not. And that's actually why this show is not woke because it's showing a, a accurate reflection of what's going on. It's not masculinity that's, that's wrong. It's the uh, it's that it's that culture. It's that society. It's a culture without morality. Yeah, I I I, you, I say this often, almost every video now. But uh, was it Evan Van Van Schuyver? Uh, Van Schuyver is that what you're to Had a wonderful quote in in one of his streams saying that to be a moral authority, you must be both moral and have a th uh, authority. And Hollywood has neither. They have money. Uh, but they don't have authority, and they, they certainly don't have morality. And so rather than, than railing against masculinity, they should be railing against their lack of morality. And I think history has shown over and over again that if you re remove masculinity from a society, it then degenerates into barbarism almost instantly. 
Yeah, they, they, yeah, they, there are positive and ne- negative. There are positive and negative aspects of everything. There are positive and negative aspects of, of masculinity. One of the positive aspects is it protects people from being abused, and and that's the baby they're throwing out with the bathwater. But again, I really want to uh, give kudos to um, uh, to the boys for talking about this in a realistic way. I'm not sure they, they intended to talk about it in the, this much of a realistic way, but we're talking about it in, in a realistic way. And, you know, instead of Hollywood moralizing to the rest of the world and wagging their fingers and saying how terrible we are for embracing masculinity and having masculinity in in, in our everyday lives, you know, they, they need to look inward and look at the absolute lack of, of morality within their society, within the society that they've created. And you know, the only way, I think, for anything to change is for people to become more moral, to become, like, just um, intolerable that somebody would, that somebody would either offer or ask for um, sex to be transactional, in any form of sex, be it, you know, even n- n- a, a non What's the word? Non-tactile. Even if they're not touching you, even. It, but it, once you sexualize yourself beyond a point that you're comfortable, then then you're complicit. You are part of it. You don't have to be part of that. Well, it might be something you wanted all your life, but most things come with negative and positive aspects to it. And we see that very much with, with, um, with stardom. It comes with a lot of negatives and a lot of positives. I, I don't think the payoff is worth it. Um, I, I I wish we were in a moral uh, enough society that that most people would think that. And if we were in a mor- moral enough society, then we would um, then 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 they, I don't think there would be the, the, these abuses. I I that's my genuine feeling on the matter. But I am a rabbi, so I I'm a bit of a moral Bible thumper. <laughs> <laughs> and I think morality is a good thing. I think boundaries are good in general. Uh, oh, again, like everything, boundaries can be good or bad. Anyway, my name is Sula Beck and the Rabbi from Another Planet. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, ring the little bell so you're notified when new videos drop.